hello everyone this is mp so today we're gonna discuss the uh, loops in vb scripting so firstly we're gonna discuss the for loop so let's start so for loop the syntax is very simple it is just you have to define the variable you have to tell the initial value and then you have to tell that till how till what value it will run and uh, then here you have to put your logic what to do and then you will loop it with next so next is a kind of uh, it will go to the next value and it go through the it will try to find out like what is next so i am uh, starting it from 0 to 5 and here what we're gonna do we're gonna just simply uh, put the value of i so let's start so it is start from 0 1 2 3 4 5 so you can go up to any number and uh, here we can also put a condition like if i equals to 3 then then what it should do it should exit the for loop so when the it will touch the value 3 then it will exit the for loop okay so run it 0 1 2 3 so when it will find it is 3 it is exiting the loop and not showing the number so this is how the for loop is working so another thing we can do in for loop here you can skip the so with the step keyword you can increase or decrease the counter value so by what value you specified so suppose that if we specified zero value so we can go over like uh, the one after another so if we define here step two so if we define here step one let's see what it's doing so it's zero one two three four five so it is running as usual but at point when you change the value let's run it so now it will skip the second value it will increment by two so zero two four and that's it so similarly you can uh, step up and step down as well so suppose that if we are gonna start it from 10 and then we are gonna have to run it like uh, 30 oh I'm sorry I we have to decrease it now so this value should be greater than that so let's put 10 here so now we can decrease it if you put minus 2 then if you run the loop you can so instead of incremented now you are decreasing the counter value so when you 30 28 uh, 26 24 22 blah 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 all right so this is how it work if you have seen like in other languages we do like this plus plus increment and then you can also do minus minus increment so similarly uh, uh, this step keyword is working like that so for now let's discuss a for each loop but before that we need to understand the array collection so let's define an array in the vb script I was going to make another video for in for array array collection but uh, let's discuss this here so in array we can define a variable like uh, uh, names and uh, then we can give a size of the array like okay it is like uh, five names and then you can assign the values to it like names 
at zero index you gonna put the mp and then similarly all other four all right so i made a i put the values in the array so at zero index i am putting mp and similarly all other ones so as you know that the array counter is always started from zero so this is how it works so it has like six values in it let's uh, loop it through for each let's assume like x as an variable where we gonna put the value of names names so names is a collection from where we gonna uh, loop and we gonna loop from zero so for each loop here it is started from zero okay so we can say next and if we gonna say message box x okay so let's run it so first it will come zero mp john david brown johnny donna okay so it is uh, working very simply like that so guys it is uh, uh, looping through each uh, firstly it's it will look up the values and it will give you all the values whatever it got in the in the in the collection so you don't have to define like okay it so for loop we have to define for like particular for we have to give like when it should end but for each loop we don't need to say like okay uh, end till this point all right all right guys so here we have to we are discussing like do while loop so firstly i am doing a keyword put do and then we can loop through it so what it's doing it is going over and over and over again because here we are not giving a condition so what we can say here uh just print one or oh, print i and here we can say uh do something and uh, then we are not checking a condition here uh, message box i so let's uh, declare a variable i and value of i equals to one and then here we are looping through it and then we are incrementing the value because in do while loop it's not incrementing it is just doing it it is kind of conditional conditional uh, variable okay i equals to i plus one so it will keep checking the condition but here we are not giving any condition so this loop will be infinite save it run it it is say one two three four five six seven eight so in this case we have to kill the process of uh, ws so open your task manager and then you can kill the uh, window scripting host for the vb scripting okay so let me do that so i am just killing this services okay so kill the process and then it will go away otherwise it will loop to infinite okay so uh but here if we will give a condition like run the loop uh if it is less than 10 then we have to give a while if it's less than 10 then it will it will stop running it Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, up to nine. So suppose that if we are not declaring a variable, see what it's doing. It does not matter if you give here. So as soon as we run this, so firstly it is not giving anything. So in the first order, it is not checking the value. So it is not 
because here we are defining like okay so firstly it considering it as a like empty variable so that's why i gave here the value one okay so then it is checking the condition again and again it is incrementing okay all right so this is this is how it is working and apart from that we can also put this condition over here so it will check here do this and then it will check here at the first position it will not check okay so let's run it see what it will do two three four five six seven eight nine so now it is checking till here previously so this last loop will not run in that condition in this condition it is running it will do and then it will check and here it will check and then it will do you know what i'm saying all right and there is a another keyword for instead of while we can use it that is until so we can check until uh, do this thing until this statement not become true so you can just run it and then it will work the same way okay all right guys uh, and uh, what else we can also do if we can also put the if condition if if i is less than 5 then exit do okay let's see if it's working one oh well because it is less than five so we can say if it's a uh, uh less than what it call if it's a uh, okay so here let's remove this condition so we are following this condition so instead we are putting like i is uh, when i is greater than 8 then it will exit the do loop okay so let's run it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so now when it goes 9 it is uh, it the condition get true so it is i is greater than 8 then it is exiting the do loop all right so this way the looping works guys so that we can also implement this uh, in our in our to display the our array values so because it is going up to five so we can say if it's less than six so let's put seven here let's see what it will do so here we can put like uh, names and then we will display it and see what it will do run it john david brown johnny dona so dona is on fifth now the next one is we don't have anything so this will be like index out of range error so which is that out of range because we don't have that so let's push it at six so and another thing to notice it was not showing the uh, mp value which is on the first place on zero index because our loop is starting from one so let's put it zero save it and run it so now it will show mp john and all other johnny and dona and uh, still we have error because it is running to six so because we are incrementing and <laughs> so we should like exit it before it goes here so now it will work mp john david brown 
Johnny, Donna. Oops. Uh, okay, so oh, okay, because it is saying greater than. So with equal sign, it is not working because uh, it needs some less than or more than sign, guys. All right, so this time we succeeded. Yay. Okay, guys, so this is pretty much for this video. I hope now you know the looping, how the looping works. So stay tuned. I'll come back with another video. Bye-bye.